Uh, congratulations. Uh, outstanding job. And I just, you know, I'm wondering, when Steven Spielberg comes a call in, no brainer that you're going to be in this film? Um, <clears throat> oh, that it could be that way. But uh, it, it wasn't in this case. Um, uh, I wanted to be in it immediately. Yeah. Uh, but uh, part of it was also, you know, the package that he was carrying, you know, was just, um, they called and, and asked me if I would like to come and read this script that Tony Kushner had written. And I went and I read it and wanted to be part of it right away. Um, but it was eight months in advance and I was out of money and needed to work and so on and so forth. So I was very lucky that um, at the same time I got an offer to do <laughs> The Office for yeah. a year. And they were incredibly accommodating about letting me out to do the film. So. It was a long process that worked out just fine. It certainly did. You were so, like I say, it was great watching you in this role. Thank you. And is it the kind of thing where you have to, even though you've got this phenomenal script by Tony Kushner, no question about it, but do you have to go <clears> back and kind of do a little history lesson to remind yourself about that time period? Uh, yeah, I mean, I yes. I, I mean, one does. I suppose one wouldn't necessarily have to. I mean, um, I did to a degree. Uh, I knew from reading the screenplay that, and from talking to Tony and Stephen, that the three lobbyists in the film were a composite of more lobbyists. Sure. Um, and therefore I knew that, and I also knew that the character of Bilbo specifically was serving a purpose in the film that was, that was, that was to serve the drama as a whole, yeah. uh, in terms of tone and sort of balance and pace and so on and so forth. Um, and I didn't want to subvert that because I knew I could have fun within that. Um, so when I went back and did research, I looked for ways. I looked from a sort of skewed through a skewed prism, in that I was looking for things that supported that, but that didn't subvert that. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, and I was lucky in that there was just enough information available to sort of support that and, and uh, not much more. Yeah, uh, so it was great. It gave us a lot of license in terms of that character, at least. Um, but he was the only character I was researching in it. So, uh, and, you know, there was a lot in Tony's screenplay. So... Um, gave you a lot to work with. It gave us a lot. And, and it, there was no, funny enough, most of the characters in the film, there were images of them and so on, and or biographies about many and so on. And with Bilbo, there weren't any images, or they didn't have any. And I chose not to do my own search for that because it gave us a certain amount of license in how he appeared and how, you know. Um, and to serve the piece as a whole, as the, uh, the drama, it was, um, I think, important that he have that sort of life and that sort of energy and that sort of, you know, irreverence. Well, you did a fantastic job. And I have to say, I thought you were spectacular on The Office. Robert California Thank you. was fantastic. <laughs> Great talking to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much.